Hello and welcome to Exposit for Word. We just wanted to publish a really quick short video just to let you know about a new platform that's just launched that we are so happy to get behind. I've asked a friend of mine to come on and tell us a little bit about it and if you're familiar with the American Gospel movie series you might have already heard about this. Hello and welcome to the president and founder Brandon Kimber. Hey David, how are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. We're very excited. You guys have just passed your one week birthday. How's it all going so far? It's going pretty well. We're excited. Good, good. So tell us all about this new channel then, Brandon. AGTV, the brand new streaming service. How did you come up with your idea? So as you could probably tell, AG stands for American Gospel. So this is kind of branching off of um, the American Gospel films that I have created over the past um, couple years. And the idea came from a lot of the messages that we were receiving from people who had, who've, who've watched the films and would be a person who would say, I just realized um, um, I didn't really know the gospel. These are people coming out of deception and they're, they're telling us, I need to rebuild, relearn my faith. What resources do you recommend? Yeah. And so <laughs> I kind of got a little tired of uh, sending this compiled list of recommended resources. And I was like, what if we just, word. what's that? Or expose it the word. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the idea came, the idea was to, if we could create a platform where our films could be along with those recommended ministries and resources all in one place, that that would be pretty ideal. You know, in the, in my, uh, the American gospel films, you know, I'm interviewing people from many different ministries. And so why not, um, expand upon those ministries, like, show them more content from those ministries so like for example we had the white horse in on there and a bunch of uh different uh ministries that were involved in the films originally yeah yeah so good so what kind of uh, content can the subscribers look forward to brandon so um in uh the immediate future and what's happening uh right now we have a few different uh, teaching series being filmed. Um, one of them is being done by Kosti Hinn, um, kind of on the, the subject of leaving the NAR, New Apostolic Reformation or Word of Faith. And like, just we'll have about f five episodes, maybe more than that in the future, but at least in, in the immediate future, we're doing five. And um, they'll kind of be on um, topics um, to kind of guide people coming out of that um, on, in key areas like, you know, biblical view on giving, uh, you know, God's will and healing, stuff like that. Um, we are also going to be pursuing more uh, licensed films and series um it, uh hopefully uh we'll get some more uh films from media gratia um in the near future uh one of the exclusive things that we have right now we have some roundtable discussions that we filmed yeah. which are kind of responding to some of the um common questions and objections that I've heard um, in response to the American gospel film. So we got uh, group groups of pastors answering those questions. And at the moment, they're not all up. I still have many more to finish editing and upload, but I'm like multitasking like crazy and yeah, it's yeah, kind of difficult. <laughs> yeah. um, but we hope to do more of those um, as well. Um, uh, and then there's, American Gospel 3. Um, <laughs> that's another thing that I'm juggling. So 
over the past year and I, and I will continue to be working on this over the next year. Um, I've been shooting interviews for American Gospel Spirit and Fire, which is the official title. And uh, the topic, as you might be able to tell, is on the Holy Spirit um, and what I view as a counterfeit spirit um, in the New Apostolic Reformation yeah. or NAR. Yeah. And so that might end up being two films, a part one and part two, just because previous American gospel films have been pretty long. Yeah. And we're trying to make these a little more easier to watch. And again, the, the AGTV platform really uh, makes that a little easier. Um, another thing I didn't mention is that all the, the, the first two American gospel films are also available in chapter uh, form. So it's kind of like a, you're watching like a docu-series. So you can just like the first film split into four separate chapters and then you have the 10 for the second. And so I, I think people were doing that um, originally, like when they would watch in small groups, they, they kind of identified, oh, here's a point in the film where we need to stop. And yeah. we've just made that maybe a little easier. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Brandon, I remember when we spoke a couple of months ago, we, we had a bit of fun and we joked around your age and how productive you've been at such a young age you you have got to at some point write a book on productivity right and how you are able to just knock out so much content and and about your work and how you manage to do that right <laughs> maybe i honestly i don't feel i don't feel that productive but i i guess kind of looking back maybe it is like i i just wish i could get so much more out there i need to build a team you know <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite show or series on AGTV so far? So um the one I guess that um we're producing exclusively right now is on the Burger family um who appeared in both American Gospel films. So we call it um The Burger's Voyage of Life and uh there are two episodes up right now. We will uh, continue to produce those. Um, and it's, it's really, uh, you know, it's a, it's a show that is just following this family as um, they live with, uh, in this situation with suffering and living with a terminal illness. Um, in light of like, well, how does the gospel impact a situation like that? And uh, if you don't really know um, what's been going on with the Berger family, uh, Catherine just uh, this last week had her intestines uh, completely removed. Um, they were going to do a transplant, but uh, they don't think that's an option anymore. So at this point, it's just trying to make her as comfortable as possible um, until the Lord calls her home. So what we, it's like hard to talk about, but, you know, as you can imagine, the show will likely get to a point where she's no longer with us. And, and, and then we are showing you know, how that impacts this family after that point. So it's emotionally tough, a tough thing to produce. Um, but I, I really think it will be very uh, beneficial to the church there. I mean, the Berger family, they've told us they receive, you know, hundreds of messages from other believers that are suffering from other types of illnesses and have been encouraged by that, by their story. And so I, I re and their, their story has already been helpful to people. So I, I just hope that the, that continues to happen through this series. Yeah, of course. What are your hopes for the future of AGTV? 
Well, um, there are a lot of different, um, a lot of different options. Um, we have the possibility of live streaming events, conferences um, through the platform. Um, I'm hoping that it just becomes um, a platform for other Christian filmmakers to produce content and get it out there. Um, honestly, at the moment, I don't, I don't think there's a lot of good, like Christian content out there. Um, at least that hasn't been, um, touched by like bad doctrine. Um, so we're hoping that, you know, this kind of encourages more, um, filmmakers, to produce more and you know we already have like i said media gratia and less land fear and their projects on there and they will continue to produce product uh, you know projects and films that we hopefully will will get on the platform as well so yeah. i'm excited yeah absolutely so how do people sign up and and also um, i know that you've got a uh, discount code with exposit for word followers as well right yeah so um you can go to watchagtv.com. Um, you can sign up there or you could find uh, the apps in your app store. And, and it's possible to sign up through those as well. But if you're wanting to support us more, we recommend uh, signing up through the website just because the apps actually take a, a percentage yeah. away from us. Um, but you could find that, um, you know, through iPhone, um, Android, it's on Roku and Amazon Fire. Um, yeah, so it could be streamed mobily um, on your television. Or uh, you could just watch it on the web if you don't have anything like that. Yeah, yeah. So that's AGTV and the 10% discount code as well. Do you know what that is, Brandon? Or do you want me to mention what that is now? Oh, you can mention it because I don't have your specific sure, code sure. memorized. Yeah, sure. So it will be in the description below as well. Our um, discount code is E. That's E for Echo, W for um, Water, 2BH. That discount code will be in the description below as well. Brandon, thank you so much for coming on. I know you're a really busy man producing all of his content and working on American Gospel Free as well. Really appreciate you jumping on and telling us all about it today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you.